In this video, I'm going to show you a great way to create quarters coverage or match coverage out of the dollar three two six defense. Now, if you're watching this video and you want to take your dollar three two defense to the next level, make sure that you get my entire three two defensive ebook. Um, that's going to be in the Patreon. Patreon is just ten dollars to become a member. It's going to get you access to all of my Madden twenty three offensive and defensive ebooks, including my entire match coverage defensive ebook as well as my dollar three two six defensive ebook. So again, if you want to become a member. The link is in the description below. You can sign up down below. All right, guys. So I wanted to talk today about a just a simple defense that I actually really like out of match. And it is a match coverage concept out of dollar. And it's really good because you can actually create quarters coverage within dollar. I think one of the biggest drawbacks to running dollar is its lack there of match coverages. But with this solution that I'm about to show you, you're going to find a, a lot of success with it. So um, real quick coaching adjustments. When you run dollar, I think it's best to put auto alignment on base. And we're going to put our zone coverage on match. What we're then going to do is we're going to come out in the dollar three two. And we're going to come out in the play cover six. Um, this play is a cover six show four. This play is actually going to play fairly similarly to the cover six out of like a nickel over formation where it is a match coverage. It's also known as quarter, quarter, half, um, where you have to the wide side of the field quarters coverage. So on the right side, if you think about it like this, on the right side, we're gonna be playing quarters coverage. On the left side, we're playing what's called halves coverage. Halves coverage is essentially kind of a variation of cover two sync. And what this basically means, and I'll show you a couple things that's kind of interesting, is this deep half, let's say you get a post and a wheel combo, something like this. This deep half on the left will match the, the skinny post over the middle of the field. However, that match is actually not the best and it converts late. So what can we do to improve this? Well, there's actually rules built into cover six that allows you to turn this defense into a cover four quarters look. What you're going to do is you're going to put a outside quarter on your solo uh, wide receiver corner. You're going to put a inside quarter on that safety. And then what I personally recommend is to take that slot DB and we can put him in a curl flat and then kind of up to you honestly I would go ahead and blitz your user that way you have um, four people rushing you're gonna get better sheds that way um, but you don't have to do that but really you're gonna use her in the middle just like you would if you were playing quarters coverage and what you're gonna notice here another quick tip to get your match coverage to play corner routes better C routes better shade it outside it's gonna help the coverage kind of play a little bit better on those outside breaking routes and what you're gonna notice here is if I run that same skinny post now I'm going to get double coverage because the quarters coverage is going to convert into the match and what you're going to notice is because there's no vertical route you see here we're going to get two man on one somehow he still caught the ball but you get the idea you got a guy in that area now another thing that's really cool about this is this is a great tip for sh uh, for slowing down any kind of bunch set I love mixing this in whenever I'm playing dollar dollar is a really good defense because you can disguise it it's very difficult if you run this defense right it's hard for the opponent to know if you're playing match man or zone you want to keep it that way what you're gonna notice right here is if I run a standard flood concept um, on the right side you're gonna notice here that we're gonna be able to pretty much bag this concept completely because we have these match quarter zones that are gonna play super effective so what you're gonna notice is if they try to flood you to the outside your match coverage is gonna play pretty well about all things considered uh, as you can see right there now another thing that you can do with this especially if you're playing bunch sets is you can put that deep half on the bunch side that deep half is really effective to the wide side of the field for stopping plays like this verticals quick throw where they're going to basically just put the scout a streak and try to bomb you this will handle that pretty well you see we're getting that cross man action on the crosser and you see how good this defense can actually be so the other thing that I want to quickly, I'm going to give you a quick little pro tip with this though, that I do think is super important to know if you don't know this, you're going to give up one play touchdowns if you run this defense. So whenever you run cover six against a Y trip set or a trips tight end set, any of those sets, it's going to do, uh, I, I believe it's going to play a coverage that's a little bit different than cover four quarters. Uh, and we're going to illustrate this into the nickel over. So nickel over, we have cover four quarters 
and we have cover six. And so what you're gonna notice here, I'm gonna come out in cover six, and you're gonna see that essentially what's gonna happen here is if I look to my right side, this player, Cromartie, he's gonna play CD Lamb as if he was man locked onto CD Lamb. And essentially what you're playing here is you're gonna play Palms coverage over the number two receiver, 81. If 81 goes on a vertical route, then Diggs is gonna take him man to man, and then this guy is gonna be responsible for number three. If 81 runs a flat route, something short into the flat, then he's going to take the flat route, and then um, and then uh, Taysom Hill is gonna be, again, manned on by this guy. However, if let's say 81, let's say they run something like this, where you have the corner route, you have, um, you know, let's say you run a little drag here, and you run this guy to the flat, now what's going to happen is Diggs is going to take the flat and this guy is going to take that number two receiver. So essentially you're playing cover four palms, not cover four quarters whenever you play cover six. It's important to know because that quarter flat has vertical responsibilities. And really the only main or primary way that this is going to be seen is against trip sets. It's not the same against two by two sets. It's really just against these trips formations. And so I wanna just quickly talk about this and give you a quick quick tip with this so essentially if they run four verticals um, that quarter flat is going to be responsible for the number two receiver and you'll see that right here you'll see the quarter flat will take him vertically and the other um, you're noticing that that inside quarter he's not going to take him vertically because he does he's actually working to that number three receiver so that same thing is true in cover six cover four quarters that's not the case um, let me illustrate that real quick and then we'll get back to the cover six. So if I run all three of these receivers run a vertical route, that quarter flat um, is not in charge uh, of that of that read of any means. What you're going to get is essentially they're going to stretch the coverage. So this guy's going to be responsible for number two. This guy's going to be responsible for number one. And this guy over here, Peppers, is going to be responsible for number three. So what you'll see here is now the court that quarter flat is a flat defender no matter what. And that's why I actually prefer quarters most of the time over cover six. So the way that you fix this is if you're ever playing a spread out trips look like this right here, um, you can see this against Bunch, you can see this against a lot of different things. Dollar affords you a couple of advantages that Nickel doesn't in the fact that you have an additional cover player. You have an additional player that can play coverage, but the principles are still the same. So what's gonna happen here is if I run these routes, like if I do this route combo, I potentially have R1 and he's going to probably be a touchdown. As you can see right here, the defense doesn't cover him. This is bad coding on EA's part. They didn't put the coverage in properly. Shocking, I'm sure that you're aware. So all you have to do, um, in my opinion, literally just very simple. You're going to take this hook curl defender. Everything's going to be the exact same, except all you're going to do is you're going to take this hook curl defender and you're going to either man him up on number three or you're gonna man him up on number two. If you man him up on number th number three, I'll show you real quick that same route combination that was giving us, uh, that was a one play touchdown before. What you'll see right here is it's still gonna basically be the problem. So you have to kind of have somebody that is gonna be responsible in case number two runs vertical. For me, what I like to do, you could take this guy over here, Carmichael, and you could put him in that, but really, I think it's just simple. Just man this guy up on the number two receiver in any trips formation, and you're going to have a pretty significant level of success. Now, everything is still basically the same, and you're still essentially this middle-of-the-field robber type player that is going to play over the middle field. So now, they go to something like that concept, and you're going to notice here that now I've got him pressed and manned up, and we still have the number three receiver doubled in the formation. This is how cover six works out of dollar. I think it's one of the better match coverages in the game because it's one of those match coverages that you can have additional players helping you make this a really, really good defense. For more on this defense, make sure you get my defensive ebook. The Patreon link is going to be flashing on your screen here shortly. So make sure you go sign up for that. $10 gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to join the Patreon page.